All right, so today we're going to learn how to write an algebraic expression and how to evaluate an expression. And I really want, don't want to say learn because you guys have seen this before. So we're going to revisit it. And what's nice is most of you are seniors. You saw this as eighth graders. It's been a few years. You've matured a little bit. So maybe this time when you see it, it'll set a little bit better. Now, an algebraic expression. There's an algebraic equation, and then there's an algebraic expression. Algebraic just means it has variables in it, like x's and y's and that kind of thing. Expression would be something 3x, 3x plus 4, 6x plus 7, but an algebraic equation would be 2x plus 7 equals 4. So an algebraic expression, all that is is variables with numbers. We say like terms, actually I'll start from the beginning, a variable, those are like your x's and y's, right? Constant, those are the numbers that aren't with your x and y. Like in the equation 2x plus 6, we would call 6 the constant because it's not with the variable. Coefficient, and 2x plus 6, the 2 would be the coefficient because it's with the variable. Like terms, 2x plus 6, 2x and 6 are not the same term. They're not alike, so you cannot combine them. And then we just talked about what an algebraic expression is. Now there's many words that mean multiply, and I listed them out. As much, by, equal groups, groups of, lots of, multiply, per, product, times, of, a, twice. This is not an inclusive list. I'm sure there's many more words that would fit there. And don't just get in your head like, oh, I saw that word, therefore it's multiplication. Because the English language can sometimes be interpreted different ways. And then division, average, divide, e parts, evenly, every, out of quotient, ratio, shared evenly, split. Okay, addition, add, all together, both, combine, how many, increase, like you might say it's increased by, join, plus, sum together, total. And then subtraction, deduct, decrease by difference, how many more, how many left, less than, minus, reduce, remains, remove, subtract, take away. Okay, overall, we call multiplication the product. We call division the quotient, and that tends to be the word that people forget, is that quotient means divide. We call addition sum and subtraction difference. Okay. And I'm not going to talk about that last. I oh, will. When decoding a problem, it's important to find the statement that forms the equation or expression you should use. So we have two goals today. One, we're going to pull expressions and words and convert them to algebraic expressions. And we're also going to be reminded how to evaluate expressions. So the first thing, and if you didn't get that quite copied, you'll have time later. So notice it says, write an algebraic expression for each statement. So the sum. What does sum mean? And that means plus. A number. Do we know what a number is? We don't. Do you have to use x? No. Do you like y better? That's fine. Or a, b, or whatever your first initial is. It, unless they specify what that number is. I sometimes use n. And then what is and, well, and kind of in this, even though it's kind of a plus, it's part of the English language. So I wouldn't even look at that. Okay, so we have 
the sum of a number and five. So that would be well, x plus Now, I like addition because it doesn't matter if you accidentally put 5 plus x because uh, addition is commutative, it wouldn't matter, it would be the same thing really. But when you're doing subtraction problems, order does matter. And if I have $10 take away $2, that is not the same thing as if I only have $2 take away 10. Yeah. What about this one? A number minus 4. What does minus mean? Subtract. So this one you would just say a number minus 4. A number minus 4. X minus 4. 6 less than a number. So we'll let this be x again, okay? Now this is where it gets confusing, and I always struggled with this too. But 6 less than a number. So I'm going to ask myself, because that makes no sense to me, what is 6 less than 10? 4. You take what you're trying to find less than of minus 6, right? So this one's actually x minus 6 because it's less than a number, you almost have to write it backwards. What most kids want to write is 6 minus x, that is incorrect. Okay, that is not the same thing. 8 times a number, times means multiplying. You can flip to the back of this worksheet if, you're, if you don't remember all these, but 8 times a number doesn't have to be x every time. I'm just going to stick with that because x is the most commonly used variable in mathematics. A number divided by 11. Divided by. That's through the divide sign, right? So I could write x divided by 11. So a number x divided by 11. Now, one thing that kids don't always understand is this is the same thing as that. A fraction. A number divided by 11. Those mean the same thing. So anytime you say you don't like fractions, you're really saying you don't like division. 6 this is where it starts getting complicated. Maybe we'll go to the other side and come back down, okay? 19 plus a number, what would that be? What? X? Yep. And if you accidentally put X plus 19, even though it's technically 19 plus X, it really doesn't matter because they mean the same thing. Subtraction is it though. The difference of a number in 7. The difference between a number and seven. The difference between ten and seven. Do you think you flip it? Do you think you put x minus seven or seven minus x? Yeah, it's x minus seven. So you don't always flip the difference. Okay? Because I, when I was in school, I got into the habit like, oh, anytime I see minus, I'll just flip them around. It, it's not always like that. It depends on the English language. 9 subtracted from a number. So what is 9 subtracted from 2? What is 9 subtracted from 11? Well, if you subtract it from, that's minus, right? And that would actually be x minus 9. So 9 subtracted from a number. 2 thirds of a number? So two-thirds would be a fraction, like one-half, or half would be one over two. Two-thirds, two over three. 
of a number, and we said of a means of a, if you flip it over, multiplication is for of a, right? So two thirds of a number, two thirds x. You could technically rewrite that as two x over three. Those mean the same thing. So anytime you have a number out here, you can always bring it up to the numerator. Common mistake I see is kids will bring it to numerator and denominator, and that's not correct. The quotient of six and a number, quotient is division. So of six and a number, so it'll be six and x. So you can say six divided by x, or you can say six over x. That means the same thing. You don't have to list both, okay? When I grade later on, as long as you have one, I'm happy. And right, now we're to the trickier ones. So we have six, and then we have times. Times means multiply. The sum, that means add. So we have times, we have plus, we have our number, and we have our number 24. So 6 times the sum of a number and 24. So it looks like it's going to be 6 times. Yeah, because the number and 24 are together and you're summing, you want parentheses. And remember, that's the same thing as this. It means the same thing. You don't have to have that time symbol in there. If you put it outside the parentheses, that does mean times. And you could also foil it in if you really wanted to, but it's better just to leave it alone in this case. So, six times the sum of a number and 24. The sum of a number and 24 go together at first. So, order of operations, you have to put parentheses. Otherwise, you multiply first. The difference between twice a number and 18. So that's minus. The difference between twice a number, twice a number is this. And difference, 18. So the difference between twice a number and 18. You could put this in parentheses, but you don't have to because naturally we'll do multiplication either way first. You guys understand this one? Yeah. Seven times, well, that's multiplication, a number, let it be x, decreased by nine. Pilar, what do you think that'll be? Any idea? Well, what, what do you think I should write down first? What's this? Anyone else want to help? Christina? Seven? We want parentheses? Yeah, I think we want seven times x decreased by nine or 7x minus 9. Um, yeah, the word and usually means you're going to put parentheses. But it's not, I wouldn't say every case because like this was and. The, the key reason why this one had parentheses is because of six times the sum of a number in 24. We want to do the sum first before we multiply. That's why we had parentheses. Now if I said six times the number um, plus 24, then it would be 24. But six times the number and 24 would be this. Difference between, here's another 
Why is the difference between a number and, X and 18? So we want twice, but this goes together. So it would be X minus 18. Because all that whole statement goes together. Twice the difference between a number and 18. Questions on those? I know you guys have seen these before. They are confusing. I have an IXL that goes with this that you can work on to help build the confidence, I hope. Next. And these were on the pretest. And it's the key word in math that means evaluate. The way I remember it is it has the word value. Value means like an answer. So evaluate just means plug in. Now we're going to plug in when A is 10, B is 5, C is 2. And we're going to remember to do the order of operations. So A squared, instead of writing A, I'm going to write 10, because A is 10. Is that a minus? Minus 2. We know B is 5, so I'm going to put times 5. The reason why I put times is because when a number is next to a variable, we know that's multiplication. So 2 times 5 squared plus 5 times, because 5c squared means 5 times c squared, 2 squared. Now, I know you could type this in your calculator, but it's always a good idea every now and then to make sure and revisit that you remember how to use order of operations. Order of operations, parentheses first, darn any. Exponents, I have two exponents. I have this one. Oh, I have this one. And I have this one. Three, not just two. When you're, when you're doing order, order of operations, you're supposed to work left to right if there's more than one. So 10 squared, 10 times 10 is 100. Bring everything else down. 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25. And 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. So there were, there were no parentheses. I did the exponents. Now multiplication and division are at the same level. Many of your teachers taught you that it's always multiplication and then division. That's not true. You work left or right. So it looks like to me that I have this multiplication and application. So 2 times 25, well that's 50. 5 times 4, that's 20. And at this point, it's subtraction and addition. It really doesn't matter the order at this point. But 100 minus 50 is 50. 50 plus 20 is 7. So in the expression, in the algebraic expression, a squared minus 2b squared plus 5c squared when I plug in A is 10, B is 5, C is 10, I get 70. Any questions on that? And also, algebra 2, none of these are like terms. So that's an A squared, that's a 2B squared, that's a 5C squared. I can't combine any of them. Next. C squared. Well, C is 2, so I'm going to write 2 squared. Negative 2 times, because that means negative 2, A, B means negative 2, times A, times B. A is 10. B is 5. Order of operations say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We're going to do parentheses first. This should be this part. So you're going to look at that and basically you're going to ignore anything not in parentheses and just keep bringing it down until the parentheses are gone. Now inside the parentheses I have multiplication, multiplication, right? So inside the parentheses are there any other parentheses? No. Are there any exponents? No. 
multiplication division. Yes. So we're going to do that. I'm going to bring this down. Negative 2 times 10 is negative 20. Negative 20 times 5 is what? Negative 100. And technically, you don't need the parentheses there. You could have just put 2 squared minus negative 100. It would be the same thing. Okay. So we're still in the parentheses. We don't need the parentheses. The negative comes in to make that positive. Now, parentheses are gone. Then I go to exponents. Exponents, 2 squared is 4. Then I go to multiplication and division. There aren't any. And then addition and subtraction, 4 plus 100 is 104. I see those things on Facebook where they put a problem like this and like all different kinds of people are answering them differently. You guys see those? And the key is people don't know their order of operations. So I was saying technically at this step you could have probably just wrote 2 minus right there. You didn't really need the parentheses anymore because you'd already done everything. <coughs>